Journey is pure, emotionally entangling, soul-flourishing art. It's not even a game from a strict, literal perspective, it's an experience, a visual marvel that speaks and woos the traveler, as in the player, with its unique language mostly made out of silent contemplations, sound effects, or soft ambient music. From the very start, our cognitive senses get wrapped into an atmosphere, leaving us wandering around, finding our own path with only so much as a general direction to follow. The online features allow us to travel alongside another player. That would be the quote-unquote gameplay section in a nutshell. A relatively simple mechanic with a more profound raison d'être. As in, reason of being. That, that was French for reason of being. Is that clear? Am I being pretentious? Anyway, Journey is a video game that utilizes its own means to analyze itself, bringing up the artistic possibility of the medium. While its spiritual predecessors, the appropriately named Flow and Flower, served as a literal, meta-referential allegory on the concept of, well, flowing experience, as in the seamless immersion derived from our suspended disbelief applied to a specific context, this particular product from the refreshingly humble named developer Dead Game Company takes a bold new step towards a largely expanded pathway. The idea of journeying through a vast and colorful land without knowing what to expect or without having the game figuratively holding our ends is already an interesting fount of thoughtfulness in its own right. To lose oneself into a different world, reaching a level of emotional connectivity with its context and characters can be first achieved through established instances of awe and curiosity. That's when powerful graphics and creative aesthetics come into play producing that primal form of psychological cohesion that operates at a very subconscious level. The result here is an interactive, visually enhanced realm filled with mysterious artifacts and wondrous magic that communicates without actually communicating, which is the gaming epitome of show don't tell, if you will. Primal emotions is the key word when it comes to this particular piece, as its online multiplayer aspect proudly shows off in a powerfully subtle way. Not only is said mechanic efficiently implemented into the diegesis without causing a disruption in the flowing experience, but it also managed to achieve its long-time thought-to-be-forgotten ideal, to unify people. The titular journey can be executed entirely in a short offline playthrough, but it's by traveling with a random companion that this game unleashes its true potential. Whether you solve fairly easy puzzles together, fly around with your magic scarf, or slide through the gorgeous dreamscape land of a possible post-apocalyptic aftermath, what you are going to experience in this adventure is a genuine, primal instinct of bonding with your occasional partner, as the both of you will share moments of joy and sadness entirely expressed via incomprehensible sounds, which are yet another in-game mechanic that will serve a major point. The least quote-unquote artistic and most bloated feature in today's industry is here promoted into a positive message about the necessity of human interactions, mother of all irony, which in this case is a link so deep that transcends any basic form of known communication and that is delivered entirely via cute push-button noises. It's only after I waited patiently for my companion to get up from his meditating seat, aka pose, shared my life energy with him and faced all the hardships leading to the cathartic ending that I could finally acknowledge multiplayer as a potential vehicle for a life-enriching form of connectivity and not just an overused gimmick. To put it simply, Journey is a true masterpiece of our times. It could only be developed with contemporary technology, and it makes full artistic use of high-definition graphics and online functions, AAA games' most common trends, to commute several sadly delivered bold statements against modern gaming conventions, all the while focusing to provide a definitive and immersive experience that relies completely on our cognitive perception of its interactive ambience. Unlike other so-called art games, this rare gem prides itself on being a decently financed product that manages to be utterly different from anything else that's ever been made up until the point in time in which it came out. It's the happiest meeting between mainstream industry and creative independent developers. In other words, by playing slash leaving this online video game, I learned that there is still hope for humanity on the internet, after all.
Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to send death threats to Talon's voice actor for ruining Inspector Gadget forever! See you! Thank you.